What is going on everybody at Let's Play Footy? I am Bailey M7 and first off I would like to thank Let's Play Footy for uploading my hybrid squad builder. So in this squad builder we have a 4-2-3-1 team and on the bench we just have a regular substitution squad that I play with them to get the uh, fitness back up on this team. So in goal we have David De Gea. He is a great goalkeeper. Everyone knows about him from Man United. He only cost me around 2,000 coins. And then at left back we have uh, Benamo. He kind of feels like uh, Mika Richards. He's a great, great, strong and fast player. So he's very good at plays for Montpellier. At left center back we have Chris Smalling. He is six foot four. He's huge. He cost me discard value, and he has some good pace and defending. So he's going to be one for the future, definitely for Man United. At right center back we have Akiza from Atletico Bilbao. He only has me uh, discard value also. He's pretty fast uh, and he has some good defending. Not the best heading though. Also we have Juan Fran, uh, the Spaniard from uh, Atletico Madrid. He's 5'11", also costs me discard value and he has 3 star skills, 3 star weak foot. He's a very good player, not the best heading but good defending and he's good at tracking back. At right center defensive mid we have the wonder kid from Arsenal, Jack Wilshire. Uh, he did cost me 2,000 coins, but that was a good price because he went from a center mid to center defensive mid. So he has a great shot and great passing on him, and you'll see that in the highlights. At left center defensive mid to link up with pretty much the whole, I, he kind of holds the team together at that center defensive mid. We have David Beckham. Everyone knows about him. Great player. He's a legend for England, and he recently just transferred from PSG, or to PSG from uh, the MLS. At left center attacking mid we have Remy Cabela. He is amazing. Discard value, he, if you watch my uh, series called Pathway to Promotion, he is dominating absolutely everything. He's so good. I'll talk about him coming up soon. At central forward position we have Lloyd Remy. He cost me 3.5 thousand coins. He is absolutely amazing. His pace, his shooting, his passing, his skills. He's six foot tall. Really good player. And I have, you would think I would have him at the striker position, but I have to have him at the central forward position to get that uh, full chemistry with everyone on the team. At right center attacking mid, we have the Spaniard, Sandy Cazorla. He is playing amazing for Arsenal this whole season. He only cost me 2,000 coins. He has four star skills and five star weak foot. So the five star weak foot on the right side is always amazing to have as he can uh, cut in and he can cross, he can do whatever. At striker, we have Adel Tarapt. I cannot say enough about this player. He cost me 7,000 coins because he was converted to a striker. He has 5-star skills and 5-star weak foot, and he is amazing, beyond amazing. Try him out at striker if you haven't. And then you can see on the bench, we just have a non-rare Bundesliga team that costs like 2,000 coins or 4,000 coins to make. And this, uh, this team cost me only 20,500 coins. So absolutely crazy for how good it is. So can we, you can see we start off with an absolutely lovely skill run by Adult Rap. That basically just summarizes everything about him. He's got the skills and he has the shooting from anywhere on the pitch. That was his left foot, which is, you could say, his weak foot, but he doesn't really have one since he's five-star skills. You can see he also ran through there and took it on his left foot and played it right in. So our whole team is amazing. I'm gonna start out with David De Gea. And you can see the highlights going on in the background. David De Gea, I, I wasn't a fan of him in FIFA 12. For some reason, he just didn't seem to have the reflexes uh, to really make those diving saves that were really like out of his reach. So I never liked him, and this is the first time that I've tried him in FIFA 13. And I can say he's hands down one of my favorite goalkeepers that I've played with this whole year. He saves everything. And I think, I feel like he has the ac acrobatic uh, goalkeeper trait because his diving saves are pretty like overzealous, you could say. He does seem to do a little bit more than he needs to, but I kind of like that about the keepers. I feel like that makes it a little more dramatic, even though he does make so many saves. He makes the one-on-one -on -one saves. He makes anything you could want from a goalkeeper. So now for the defense, we have Betamo, Smalling, 
Akiza and Juan Fran. They all have a uh, very, very good pace. I think Akiza has 71, so that is very fast for a defender at center back position. Smalling has 74. Uh, Betamo has around 80, and Juan Fran has like 84. So they all have very, very solid pace. It's nothing too much. They, I think uh, Betamo and Juan Fran both have high attacking work rates, so that can kind of get annoying when they push up the pitch and leave your two center backs just hanging back, but they both can track back really well. Uh, as I said before, Benamo feels like Mika Richards. He has very, very like strong physical stats, so he's incredibly good at just bullying people off the ball. So our defense is really, really good. You should try it out for sure. And for our holding midfield, we have um, Beckham and Wilshire, who are great, great players. They both have passing, and they just kind of hang out in the midfield, which is really where you want them. So they keep that midfield tight together, and it's perfect for that. And now for like more of our attacking uh, part of the field, we have Tarat, Remy, Cabela, and Cazorla. They all, three of them have four-star skills, and then there's Adel Tarat with five-star skills, who's just amazing at that. So you can definitely work in the skills, but it's not anything that you get really overly focused on the skills where you aren't like playing too well. So that's really good. Guys, this team is amazing. The video is about to wrap up. So again, I would like to thank Let's Play Footy for uploading my video to this channel. And if you guys enjoyed the content, feel free to drop over to my channel. It'll A link will be in the description. And that is... Uh, youtube.com slash baileym7 so leave a like a comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and always guys have a great day thanks and bye